Oh uh, man, we're just scoping out the location here. Come check this out. And in my mind's eye, I kind of visualized kind of climbing up on that. What is that thing called? Oh, looking great. I told us that was great. Pose like this. This is D'Angelo. I'm a co-pilot for the day. Hi guys. This is what happens when you have a baby dinosaur. <laughs> God, I have to edit your whole body. What are you good for, Connor? This big on my cap. <laughs> it's like one of those. Where did it come from? Yeah. I'm trying. Oh, so I'm trying. I just like brought him out. I'm like, we're doing them. <laughs> when I'm not shooting, I never wear makeup. Never, not once. Oh, if I was lot. murdered without makeup, you would not recognize me. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Goodness, that is cool. <laughs> oh, it's Canada. Canada. What? <laughs> She doesn't like anything I buy. Oh my God, I just spent two hundred dollars yesterday. Oh, my husband um, farms the ground for this lady, Lorraine. She is ninety, and she's the sweetest old lady. We have shot here for years, and she always is like the most inviting, welcoming. What's going on, Laura? I'm turning into a professional leaf thrower. Photo shoot day. Again. Shot all day Friday. <laughs> I need a nap. <laughs> what happened? I drank with friends. <laughs> yeah. Um, at some point today, I want to sit down with you and go over supplies and what you need. I'm gonna order bins. Okay. Good. I rode my horse this weekend. I drove the grain cart this weekend. We were in the fields, picked apples. It was wonderful. We have been growing so fast that we now have zero empty bins. <laughs> Now they're gonna think all I do is eat blueberries instead of Claire's desk. Lots of orders means and more returns. For a while there, it was just me trying to do it all. Two o'clock this afternoon. I had not stepped outside of my warehouse. I literally ate lunch at my computer working and I was done. Like my brain was fried. So I got up, I went to Walmart and bought everyone coffee and cookies and went. And I feel like everyone was just, it's Monday, you know. And we just sat around and talked about some things at work, but also just kind of BS. And it probably killed a half hour of my day, and the rest of my day has been so much better. You need to ask her about this. She goes, yeah, I used to think I was addicted to caffeine, and then I just started drinking Spark, and I didn't need caffeine anymore. <laughs> I'm late, but they don't really know time yet. So they'll be super excited. Um, Dace woke up this morning and the first words out of his mouth were, where's dad? And I need to go ride. Say hi. Accidents. Oh, no. Oh, this guy. Oh, <laughs> you want some of those? That's what happens when you work too long in Philly Flair instead of working out here. Hang out in the field, and it's a long, long Monday, but 
was a good day. Baseball hat. And, yeah. <laughs> I don't have time for that. You know, I got kids, and then I gotta go to work. Like, I don't have time to get ready for a half hour, an hour. It's your hat? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a hat stealer. Today I got asked to model for a volunteer event for Dress for Success, so I'm helping with that. I feel like I'm getting a taste of my own medicine. And then we're going back to the warehouse to actually get some work done. <laughs> yeah, I taught him. What do you think? I'll just do the Laura. Okay. Looking for a cleaning cleaning lady. I had one and now she's pregnant, so she backed out on me. I, like I can never get in my door because I leave my key in my car. Because I will put it in my jeans pocket and I will everyone. leave it in my house hey. every time. She steals all of the cards and I never have anything to shoot on. <laughs> you bought one. Spark has caffeine in it. <laughs> she's back from our first day from maternity leave. Yes. yes. Not, I, didn't, I didn't say it that way. No, you didn't. No. Not. Owning a business is probably the most rewarding and hardest thing on the planet. Um, you get to decide every day what you want to do, but you also have to deal with things that you weren't expecting. Every day I wake up and things happen that I wasn't planning or wasn't expecting. And the only thing that I get to control is my attitude. I don't do this just to make money. I do this for the journey. We all get one chance to live a best life. And when I was growing up, I promised myself I was going to do something that ultimately I loved every day. If you don't love what you're doing, what is the point? This is, this is a journey. Like, I don't want to look back and five years and be like, what was I doing? I worked a million hours and I didn't enjoy what I was doing. To me, we all have one chance. You all have one shot. And it's not about the payday at the end. It's about the entire journey. It's about the ups and the downs. It's about those times when you almost failed and how did you come out of that? Who, well, who did that make you as a person? And the people, it's about the people that I get to bring with me. And it's about the, the people that made this business better and made my life better and me as an individual a better person. If you, do not love what you're doing in your life. I encourage you to check yourself because this life is too short to not be fully fulfilled with whatever you're doing. And if you cannot change something in the short term, you can always change long term. And every day you still get to decide the attitude of the situation of where you're at.